Hi, my name is Carla. I'm a registered nurse. And for today's video, we're going to be doing a simple dosage calculation to find the number of tablets to be given to a patient. And for this video, we're going to be focusing on using the D over H times Q formula. So looking at the screen, this is what we're talking about when we mean D over H times Q. D is going to be the desired dose, meaning the doctor's order. What has the doctor prescribed for this particular patient? H is going to be what you have on hand. So the strength of the medication available. Typically it will tell you, for example, milligrams per, and then a certain tablet or milliliters. Lastly is Q. So that's gonna be the per part that I had just mentioned. For example, if I said 250 milligrams, the per tablet, tablet in that example would be the quantity. So Q stands for quantity. So let's figure out, let's decipher this particular question using the D over H times Q. So the question is a physician orders 500 milligrams of amoxicillin to be given to a patient. The available tablet strength is 250 milligrams per tablet. How many tablets should be administered to the patient? Keeping the D over H times Q in mind, the D in this example would then be the doctor's order, our desired. So physician orders 500 milligrams of amoxicillin. I don't really care what medication it is for dosage calculations. So just that 500 milligrams is all I'm really concerned about. The next part is the H, what we have on hand. For this example, what we have on hand is 250 milligrams. That is the strength, the concentration of the medication available. And then lastly, we have the Q that we're trying to figure out. For here, the Q would be the quantity that it comes in. So what form does the medication come in? Usually that will be tablets, milliliters. For this particular example, the medication comes in tablet. I know that because it says 250 milligrams per tablet. The concentrated medication is in the form of tablet for this example. So using this information, all we have to do now at this point is plug in. So D in this example, we said was the 500 milligrams. So I'm gonna put 500 milligrams over H. For this example, we said H was 250 milligrams. So 250 milligrams. And lastly, Q for this example, we said was tablet. So I'm gonna multiply that by tablet. So now using the D over H times Q, I can go ahead and multiply and divide as needed. So 500 divided by 250, that's gonna be two times tablet, that equals two tablets. So this particular patient, to be able to give 500 milligrams, I need to give two tablets. And it makes sense, right? Because if each tablet is 250 milligrams, 250 plus 250 combine that, that is 500 milligrams. So if you want to see the same problem solved using the dimensional analysis, go ahead and check out this next video. If you want to see more math and dosage calculation videos, go ahead and check out my other videos and I'll see you there.